Every ESG reporting needs to include the value chain. But how do I do this? How does my value chain even look like? Today I will show you how I map the entire value chain of the company I'm currently working for and I will also give you an example from a different industry. I will show you how I identify the key players, how I map social and environmental issues along the value chain and then in the end how I create a heat map that I can then use for the materiality assessment process. But first I have a problem. How do I map the value chain of a service company? I know quite well from my experiences how to draw the value chain of a producing company because for a producing company you start at the extraction of the material then you continue with the production of the first steps of the value chain and then it's your own production which produces the products in the end uh, which will then be shipped to customers and after they have been used they might have to be recycled or reused or um, repurposed for anything else. Then I would look at whether all these steps do have an environmental impact and it turns out for this producing company we can expect an environmental impact at every stage of the process. Then for the next step I would look at the social impacts. Um, would it involve any human rights issues or would it involve other human or social impacts as well. And for this manufacturing company that I'm looking at the, at the moment, I can see these impacts more at the beginning of the value chain, so I'm drawing those down here. Then there might be some impacts which might be special to exactly this value chain. So for example, it could be some toxic material right at the beginning with the mining processes, or it could be something else. And then the next step for me would be to find out about the scale of the impact. So for some steps in the process or in the value chain, the impact might be bigger and I can then scale the size of the impact according to what I would expect at that stage. For some I might not know, so I might make a first guess and to be found out later in the materiality process. But now coming to the services value chain. We are looking into medical services for this one. Um, basically the step what the company does is doing examinations and then providing some diagnosis and some data to the patients. And of course the data has to be delivered in a digital form. To find out more about the value chain of this company, I would look at the spendings of the company to find out where is the money going, what are we buying, to make the services possible. And this will give me then a good understanding of where I should be looking into. And I will concentrate only on the external parts, so things that are bought from outside but are not part of the business. I would not look into spendings for energy consumption or water or anything like that, which is used at the process step. And then I would concentrate on the biggest spends, so finding out, well, these are the most important ones. I try to cover around 70 to 80 percent at least, so I get a good understanding of what's needed to make the services possible and how can I use this to make the value chain assessment. These numbers are totally made up, so it is not the reality shown here, but we can use that for now. Now looking at two very important spendings that we have for the company, there is the big machinery that is being used for providing the medical examination services. In that case it is MRI machines and other diagnostic machinery. Um, so these must have their own value chain. First raw materials will be extracted, then maybe in different process steps the machines will be produced. And of course at the end of the life it will be reused, recycled, repurposed and so on. Then also part of the business of course is spendings for medical supply and other supply like um, office supply um, but we will concentrate on the medical supply for this um, because it has more risks involved. Medical supply again we have the raw material extraction and then one or several steps to produce the products. Um, which then at the end of the life cycle will have to be recycled, reused or repurposed in a way or even sent to landfill. In between we have all the transports and especially for the large medical equipment we also have some construction work to be done. If we look at the environmental impact, what we can expect, 
and here I was looking into several reports from the industry. I was also asking AI to help me find out about um, how big impacts are for the industry and the value chain. Yeah, you, you can be very creative, uh, but it, it's always good to find some good sources which are reliable and to know where the biggest impacts are. So I know for the extraction, of course, there can be some environmental issues. I have to look into that a bit deeper. And then I know that in the, in the use phase, there will be some energy consumption. So before I said, well, I will not look into the energy consumption that is for the value chain, but I do have the environmental impact at the own production side or service side where I need to include that. So I can have some environmental impacts for end of life scenario of the machinery and of the uh, medical supply. Um, so this is also something which I will have to look deeper into. Um, for the transport, I don't see such a big impact because the big machinery will not be transported very often and the small supply is not as much in volume that it will sum up to a lot of uh, emissions. Then for the next point, I'll be looking into the social aspects. And there I can see at the beginning of the value chain, there might be some social aspects. Um, we know that in mining, there might happen some things which we don't want to happen, like human rights violations, like child labor. Um, so this is certainly something which I should be looking into for the other steps. Well, in, in the own operations, of course, there might be some social aspects, especially uh, regarding health and safety. I have some, some minor social topics in the other steps of the value chain. Uh, I do have the social topic again at the core business, so the um, medical services, where I involve the own employees as well as the patients. Then again, uh, um, I would be looking into any additional um, topics, especially at the mining part of the value chain. I would be looking into cybersecurity and data privacy, which is a very specific topic um, because it is impacting health data, which is very personal data, which should not go outside of where it belongs to go. And then as there is some radioactive substances involved in the examination processes, I would have to look at this for the entire value chain. And now how would I continue? Um, I could now of course list all the suppliers and go through them one by one. But what I like to do here is really going spend based again, looking which are the main suppliers and again covering about 70 to 80% of them at least if possible. And then looking deeper into what they provide in information, also having some interviews with them and looking at their ESG reports if they have some available and also asking them about their value chains. So here I have my first heat map of the value chain. Now I can start to dig deeper into each of the points within that value chain. But as this is a totally different topic again, I will make my next video about just that, how to look at the value chain and the own business, how to include the impacts, risks and opportunities about all the topics and then really going along and executing the materiality assessment and providing the information that I need to know what to report about. So if you don't want to miss the next videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you activate the bell so you will be noticed once I publish a video about my next steps.